Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome back to the Macadon campaign. In the previous episode, we took Odesos, and we are looking pretty good now. We have Pulpadeva, Anthea, Odesos, and Pela. Unfortunately, our public order is rather low, minus 28. We will be having a rebellion next turn, by the looks of things. And it does appear that the Odrysians are still alive with this fleet, although they are very much depleted and they will be wiped out very shortly. Now I need to try and defend this province in Thracia before I decide who to go for next. I would like to get the whole province. The problem with that though is Tribali are actually trading with us and are very friendly. I don't want to ruin that friendship, at least not at this point, so I might just go after Epirus for now. It would make sense. Um, yeah, I think we'll probably do that. So, I think we can end the turn right now. And we can see what happens in this end turn phase. And for all of you that are watching, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, let me know how your days are going below. I like it when I do interact with you guys and you guys interact with me. It's what makes you two a little bit more special. Oh, and they've attacked me. Oh my god. <laughs> they've actually attacked my navy. Oh my god, they've been very smart about this. They have been very smart about this. 80 versus 280. I don't even have a garrison. This is my garrison. Four of all 20 because I took Anthea and it hasn't had a chance to repopulate. Holy shit. Okay guys, I will see you all on the battlefield. Hello and welcome to the battlefield. So that was quite surprising that was being attacked. Um, as you can see we have barely anything to defend. We have 20 men per ship and these aren't the best of ships either. They're all uh, javelin men so 20 men each not not much we can do. They have 120, 80 and 80 and believe it or not this Odrysian kingdom this is the remainder of the Odrysian kingdom. Three ships and it looks like they're going to reclaim their kingdom. Oh, it's frustrating. I didn't expect this. The AI has done a very good job here. I think what I might do though is let them actually embark because they can't take my settlement without me being dead. I think if they take that, they just get like a morale boost, don't they? So, um, at least if they're on the ground, I can attack them with my ships from where I am right now. And plus, if they sail to me here, they're going to use up energy anyway so what I'm gonna do is fast forward this battle just get an idea where they're gonna go I think they are actually gonna embark I might have calculated this wrong I'm, but I am pretty sure you, they can't capture the the city if they hold this it's just a morale penalty but there's only one we're gonna find out and that's by actually attacking right let's bring my ships forward in that case they are embarking Fast forward again. <laughs> oh, that's, in that's insane. I want to take the general out. I need to take him out. 120 men. Skirmishers. and Then we've got two units of skirmishers. Oh, my biggest problem though is I'm not near enough, am I? Oh god, guys, get moving. Where are you going? Let's go towards those Thracian nobles. I'm hoping that they can stay in range. The nobles are staying here. I could perhaps take the general out with these four ships and then who knows we'll, we'll find out now this is like a little test this is let's press play killed one already we're losing our capture point they got their backs turned as well they can't attack me so let's just fast forward this oh look at the amount of ammunition we're losing 
Oh, and they're out of range. Shit. Kill ten of them. And of course, they've taken up slots here. Oh, it's so frustrating. I have to go all the way. I have to go up here. Oh my god, how the hell am I going to win this battle? The funniest part is, I could just exploit them by waiting. It's a coward, a coward's way of playing. But I win if the time runs out. They've got to kill me, I haven't got to do anything. Oh, I don't want to do that, that though. What does... Oh, shit. See, this is where the game still has game-breaking issues. Once I embark on these ships, I will start losing them. However, now because they've changed the capture point system, I mean, it made sense when they had... F it didn't make sense when they had flags, like, in the middle of the battlefield. You know, you wouldn't... it wouldn't make sense. But actually, in your town, like you have in traditional Total War games, it does make sense. But now they've removed that ability, it's, it's kind of strange. Uh. I don't know if that, that will happen though, if I do... They're saying it by here, but I'm not quite sure. Uh. Right guys, i tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop recording, and then... I will let you know what happens when I press the record button again. So for now, we're going to wait it out. I'm going to see what happens. Cause I haven't done this before in, a total, in this game anyway. I don't want to lose this settlement, but I just want to see if this works. Because this would be kind of game breaking if it if it works. So I'll see you in two seconds. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I just noticed that my units have started fleeing, even though nothing's happened. I don't know if this is normal. Um. I might actually lose this province now. We're down to the final few minutes. I thought that this could be exploited, but it looks like I'm wrong. My morale has all of a sudden dropped dramatically with all of my units for no reason. Wavering enemy controls a land must disembark. Oh shit, so I'm right. Okay. So it looks like. It it looks like that can't be exploited. I bet that could have a few months ago, but it appears I'm wrong and I'm going to lose the province because of it. Which is weird because it does say you win if the time runs out. So it's kind of... It's kind of... Uh, it makes sense, I suppose, but it's kind of weird because... There's no... It's only a morale boost. If you hover over this, it does actually say... Capture point gets a morale boost if they're within the area of control. It's only if they're in the area of control. I don't really want to disembark all my units either, so I might just keep my general off. I'll take two of them off and let the other two disembark, I think. That makes sense. No, oh, I was never going to win this battle anyway, so I'm not too bothered, but I just wanted to test this out because. I was curious, and it looks like I've piqued my curiosity. And I will, in fact, be losing this province. So you can't actually exploit that anymore. That's actually a good thing. I'm actually praising CA for this because um, it's something that probably could have been exploited a few months ago. So they've obviously fixed it. The only thing I found confusing was the execution of it because I thought. Like, I knew you'd get a morale boost, but I didn't think it would affect it at this stage of the battle. Ah, right. Okay, so maybe it's not. Okay. They're not routed now. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I think I'm wrong, actually. They're not... A oh. So I'm not losing men anymore. They are running somewhere. They're going to come out and chase me. If I stay away for, from them for the next five minutes, I may actually be winning this battle. General! Let's keep my general on land. On sea, sorry. General! Whoa, dude, where are you going? Is he going to disembark? I don't want him to disembark. 
Oh, what the hell? I oh, yeah, just embarked anyway. Shit. Doesn't matter. Dim problemo. So we're learning quite a lot in this campaign so far. And they're going to throw everything at me now, which is very noble of them indeed. But now I'm going to try and... Okay, I'm going to be very defensive and go to the core. See, you shouldn't corner camp, but... It's actually, it's, this is the weirdest thing with this game. It's like the most logical move you could probably make at the moment. To move my men. To drag them out of position. They have 80 skirmishers. 110 Thracian nobles and 80 skirmishers. So it's good that you can't camp like that. Maybe I should have put a ship over there. I should have probably put a ship over there so they'd never get to all of us in time. I've actually grouped us all together and they're actually getting quite close as well. Uh -oh. Let's get all my men up here. I'm going to fast forward this. I'm just going to try and stay out of their range for as long as possible. I'm going to lose this battle. I can see it happening. I've been quite cheeky in my attempt to try and win it. <laughs> I probably, I could probably look back at this battle and laugh, but I had to try it out. I had to try and see what the the game is like at this stage with the the battle mechanics with winning and losing the battle and I think in the end it is worth it even though I'm going to lose unless I hold off for the next two two minutes I don't know maybe I'll win I should be losing this this is <laughs> this is insane one minute left let's go uh, this way are they actually retreating? no they're not they come this way I should just throw something at them out of spite I might be winning this battle guys and they <laughs> oh my god, don't tell me I'm going to win. Oh, seconds rain. Let's go and attack them. Attack order. Oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, let's attack them. <coughs> oh. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Heroic victory. Oh no. Oh no, I can't believe it. Heroic victory. I did kill 10 of the mind. <laughs> Battle duration, 1 hour, 2 seconds. I actually lost 2, 6 and 2. I didn't I didn't even engage them. How did I lose 3 men? How did I lose, how did I lose 6? I mean, how did I lose 10 men between 3 units if I didn't engage them with those? That doesn't make sense. Oh, I don't know. I can't believe that. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna enslave them, and they're gone, and they they're pretty much gonna be gone from the game now. After that, I just exploited the AI to eliminate the faction. I did it on accident. <laughs> oh no! And I could probably do the same thing again. I could actually do the same thing again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How am I? Oh, these are the rebels, are they? Uh, I don't even know who these are. Is this the Tribali tribe? Oh my god, I can't believe it, guys. Alright, I'm gonna fight this. Um, I'm gonna auto resolve. I'm gonna auto resolve this, guys. It's not fair to me to play my battles like that. I mean, I could. I could do that all the t all day, and I'd be winning every single battle. But it's not fair to play a campaign like that. It's not fair for you guys to watch it like that, even though it is quite funny. So I'm going to actually auto resolve this battle. I'm not going to win. Basically, I could do that all day, win the battle, lose no men. They would be able to move my points and can't attack me next turn, and it's just exploiting. So the rebels have taken Anthea. Tylus is back. It was yeah, it was Tylus. I thought it was Tribali. The logo looked familiar. Oh, I can't believe that happened. <laughs> A faction rises. Tylus are back, unfortunately. Fleet destroyed. <laughs> Settlement lost. The thing is, we can take a four units. You can take that back easily. Where's my navy? I can take it back with my navy, probably. We can we can recruit a couple of units from here. As a matter of fact, we're going to do that right now. I think Let's recruit some units. Let's attack them. I mean, we 
they got? Oh shit, if they got. Oh, if they got a garrison, that's not fair. What the hell's going on, guys? I didn't have a garrison. Oh, of course, it's because I didn't. I didn't change the building types. I know. I, I know where I went wrong. It's okay. Um, oh, I could probably attack with this army, couldn't I? Oh, God. I can't believe that exploit. Oh, I could attack with this army. I'm just going to attack here. Get in there like that. Can't recruit anything. I can't. I can get some cavalry. Quarantine. Cavalry. If I attack again. Oh, shit. I'm gonna auto resolve this. <laughs> I'm auto resolving because I'm pissed off, okay? Auto resolve. 76% chance. Occupy. Oh, I can't believe that exploit. Let me know in the comments what you think of that, of that exploit. Because I, I didn't. You know, you watched the video, you saw. You saw what I was saying, you heard what I was saying. And I didn't really. I said in the video, I think I. I can actually win this by. Uh, by doing that. I just didn't think I would. See, so yeah, I can have the same thing here now with four ships, forty men each at Odessos. Unless I like raise an army quickly, but I can't even afford that, can I? Oh god! Oh, my navy needs to be there, doesn't it? Oh god, this shit's going everywhere down. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> I'm almost speechless. Right, let's get armor. I'll, I'll do. And let's give you some cunning, my friend. A warrior. Is that right? Zeal, that's what I meant, yeah, zeal. It's a good one to have. At your command. At your command. I can't get there with this army this turn. We hunger for battle. We hunger for battle. Actually, I can get there with the dates of this one from Pulp David in full march. Yeah, that makes sense. Pulp David's I don't know why I'm in Pulp David to be honest, because of Wall City. I should be I should just stay at Odesos for now and let it kind of because that it's just to remove Odyssean kingdoms, then I can spend the money next turn on actually rebuilding. So basically we are back where we started at the at the end of the episode. Tylus has gone. We, we own both of these provinces and there's a small army from the Odysseans of three units. Let's just check out diplomacy once more. Pontus we can probably trade with. Will they trade with me? Please trade. Moderate chance. 500. I need money. No. What about just trade then? Thank you. With you, sir. Words, you bring joy to my heart. I've actually got three I'm importing timber and wine, so we we have some more goods to actually trade with people. Cateroy would be useful and Athens would be Greetings. useful. Now speak okay, the Cateroy don't want to do anything with me. What about Athens? I am honored to receive trade this low okay, we forget them. Ah, I can't believe that. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm almost speechless because of it. Athens is doing well. Oh, look at Sparta with this army here. Led by Galanos. We'll take in Naveso soon, I think. Once we once we consolidate this area, we'll be fine. Let's end turn anyway. We chops in too much, let's end turn. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of that exploit. Or, or if there's any exploits you you've actually pulled off in your your campaign, let me know what your biggest exploit was in a total war campaign ever. Not just Rome too, but Empire. Oh, another rebellion in Odysseus. Thank you for that rebellion. Trade gained. Okay, so we're going to Ready for orders. get out of Force March, and we have a rebellion to squash, led by Cosmas. Use my spy to get some experience. Less poison provisions. Fingers crossed that he works. I hope my spy will do well. Oh my god, my spy is useless. How did you do, guy? How did you do? Nearly on level 4 as well. It's a shame. What do they have? Oh my god, Tracian tribal, tribal garrison, cavalry, warriors. And oh, my god. oh my god, I completely overpower it. Let's just attack. Attack and piss off. Piss off. Attack. And we're gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna fight this either. Look at the balance of power. It's just a waste of time. We're gonna win. Straight in the face. Take that, you bastard. God. 
Right, we're going to uh, occupy. We're going to enslave, I think. We've got 47 captured. Let's just get them. The Harpy's Claws. I don't like the name of that thing. I want to change the name. Let's just see what we've got. Weapon damage inflicted by spears. Yeah, we want the spear uh, thing. Uh, the Harpy's Claw sounds a bit weird. Let's try... Where are we based? We're based in Odessos. Oh, God. I'm trying to think of a good name. The... I don't think uh, the is that how you spell serpents? Yeah, the serpent's belly. That sounds more frightening. We got a nice snake as well. The serpent's belly. Let's get them. If we force march this guy now back here. Moving, oh god, wretches. it's still bad. Minus twenty-seven. Oh shit! But it, it stops these guys attacking. They're losing lots of men each turn as well. That's why I'm doing it. Although they are raiding the bastards. My navy can actually take them out. Uh, my navy can actually... It's better off my navy here. In case the rebellion comes here again, then we've got somebody that can actually take them out. Oh, this is frustrating because I, I need to kind of convert these... things. I can't actually afford it with any of them. Oh, thank God this is frustrating. Just back and forth at the moment, trying to do stuff. Um... And I can't recruit any other generals, can I? 350. This is why I need to get some money off people. Athens, please give me money. Cateroy. Let's see if we can get something with... See, uh, you'd think they would trade because they, they got an enemy in the Bastani and I got lots of resources compared to them. But well, no, they don't want... Don't want it. I could try an on aggression again, but they don't want that either. Hmm, and Athens, I mean, Enter, trade, no, speak. not much I can do with anyone. Um, keep our money this turn then, I think we'll, uh, I could, where did I recruit those mercenaries from? Cavalry, get rid of that cavalry, give us more money next turn. Uh, this is going to give us the workshop, I'll start building some siege equipment. That will turn the tide in this campaign, I think, the siege commitment. Uh, Commitment, the siege equipment, <laughs> not commitment. And now Athens finally want me to attack Epirus. I might just when say yes because, orders? yeah, <laughs> Epirus is going to attack me. No, they're not. They just pulled back. Paler is left wide open as well. And they just said, Come on, bring it. Come at me, bro. Please don't have another rebellion. I've had too many rebellions now. Way too many rebellions. Um, research complete. Engineering, excellent. <laughs> Defeat the foreign army. Ares Terror. Plus five. Treasury. Faction encountered. Nossos. Okay. Trade gained. Untrustworthy. Oh, no. No, man. No. I don't want that. Right. Let's get you back to normal. These guys aren't going to trouble me. They're going to be gone soon. Um, I need to spend the money I have this turn. Best thing to do. Upgrade. I can upgrade it to a village, which will actually give me my garrison, which I need for 844. I could upgrade to a port for 700, 525 for that, and that, which means I can actually afford two of them, two turns each. We'll get the f the homesteads going to begin with. Get our food going up. Can't afford anything else this turn, unfortunately. I need to keep these armies here as well because I just get another rebellion next turn. Otherwise, I don't want to be fighting rebellions left, right, and centre. Um, they want me to defeat Ares Terra. I'm actually going to... Let's see what we want. And da -da -da, what's this? Upkeep cost, we'll need that. I think we need the upkeep cost at the moment. Oh my god, I'm going to lose uh, Paler if they attack me head on right now as well. I don't want to lose Paler, that's my best city as well. Everything's kind of stable in Paler. I could... Oh no, I can't. I was going to say I could bring my navy there, but it won't won't get there in time, unfortunately. And I cannot afford anything as well, yet again. Oh, I can't believe this. Right, let's just go to diplomacy. I'm just going to try and set a war coordination target. Go for Pyrrhus. Everyone attack that bastard there, please. If you take him out, we 
stand a good chance of doing well. I might be able to hold against this army. I probably would against him, but the two of them together, I doubt I would. What do I have here? Pikemen, cavalry, pikemen, hoplites. Uh, I don't know. Um, end turn. Let's just see what happens. This has been like the weirdest episode ever for me personally. This is my, definitely my weirdest Total War episode so far. I think so much weird stuffs happened. Just oh my god. All right. Okay. So Epirus didn't attack me as expected, and Sparta has ended the defensive alliance with me. I don't like the sound of that. That's bad news for me, I think. And Epirus has surprised me because they're usually dead by now. now you have to oh my god. My Nossos, why are you declaring war on me? I'm nowhere near you. I've done nothing to hurt you. You've got no allies. Why are you attacking me? Athens is my ally. Ath I'm going to just set Athens onto you. Your funeral, guys. That just doesn't make sense. Why? Trade going to dissolve Pontus. Rebellion in imminent Thracia, I know, I know. Recruit a champion, I got more important things to do right now. I got to kind of manage my empire, you know what I mean? Oh my god, minus 16? Shit. Why is the... One more turn each for them. Why is my population minus 16? This Raiding! Oh my god, I need, that's why I need to go with these raiders. Right, let's get the ships. I'm just going to attack them with these ships in that case. Strike! Oh, stop fucking running! Jesus Christ. Right, they've stopped raiding, haven't they? Minus 7. Put you back in there. Minus 6. I'm still going to have a rebellion. Lucky me. Okay, now it's important that I get someone in Paler, I think. Because they have people here. Xenobus, other families, other families. They're all in the other families and they've all got three. Xenobios, let's raise an army with you. And let's give you some... Just look in, 42 attack, 40, 50. 64, Royal Peltast for the win. Get your arse in there. Paler's actually <laughs> minus 17 as well. My, my, my empire is like all over the place at the moment. I'm just kind of watching it crumble. They're still losing men. They're going to be gone anyway soon. I can't believe I'm going to... Oh my god, I'm going to have another rebellion. I'm going to actually take my spy now towards Paler. That's where the action is going to come from. Once I've got some stability here and I haven't got to worry about rebellions anymore... I'll be okay. This is one of the things I like with Shogun too, because when you put a rebellion down, public order just has like a jump back up, like a mini boost. It doesn't with this. It's kind of negative all all around, basically. Oh god. Our culture's on the way up though, so that's something. And I think we can end turn three. I don't know. Do I need to get any mercenaries here? It might be worth it because we're kind of mercenary peltasts. They attack me. I need them here, don't I? Uh, I don't want to do this. Yeah, just in case. Only for a turn. I won't have any money next turn, but it's needed. And we got another rebellion. Look at that! Right outside our day source again. Another rebellion. Oh my god! <sighs> and the Odrysians have come back because they smell blood. Rebellion, wiggy, lucky me. Mission failed, I don't care, but the mission. Didn't you realize that by now? Four of you guys, That's let's just command. attack you. Boom. You're gonna run, I'm gonna chase. I chase you from here. I ought to resolve because an easy victory. I say, uh, balanced stance. Rebellion's done, easy. I don't have enough movement points to get back. Odrysian Kingdom jump in there to try and take it without my army being near. And I have the same repetitive cycle all over again. Oh, we actually do have enough points to get back. In that case, we just jump back in. And we are at minus 80. 2 minus 8, that's fine. And <laughs> we're just getting loads of experience doing this as well. Plus 5 melee defense. Authority, what would you have? We have launching an ambush at the moment. I don't really care about ambush. We go for the melee defense. And we're going to go for our ramming bonus. Soldier, charge bonus, that charge bonus, oh my god, we're gonna have like the best charge bonus ever. 
that ship is is going to be gone soon. These ships can uh, they embark? They are embarked. Let's just actually de deal with this rebellion because they are raiding again. Let's just jump up in. Oh my gosh! Stop running! And they they've gone too far, haven't they? Oh my! Can't believe this. This is this is what I fucking hate. And it's still in my territory as well. I'm just gonna chase them down. Jesus Christ, man! I'm thinking it's like a minus nine now, so it's gonna take like another two turns to have another rebellion. Oh man! Let's get some civil stuff. Let's get some civil shit going. Epirus just camping. Why aren't they attacking me? I'm wide open. I'm wide open, Epirus. Why are they attacking me? They think I'm too strong, that's why. I got, I'm not getting any minuses on my public order here, so that's good. Alright. Can I, like, oh, I got no money. <laughs> End turn. I know I seem like I'm ram ramming. My god, my on but dirty bugger. I know I'm complaining a little bit, but I'm very tired right now. <laughs> it's like twelve o'clock at night where I am. And yes. I might probably end this episode in a few moments. It's been it's been really weird. <laughs> it's been one of the weirdest episodes ever. I'll just let the end to and finish, and we will probably wrap this up. Trade agreement dissolved, RDI. Rome has been encountered. Ooh, faction destroyed the RDI. What has taken its place, though? Uh, this Epirus. Oh my god, Epirus. They are. S oh, and Sparta have taken Apollonia. Well done, my Spartan brethren, even though you guys completely fucked me over with the defensive alliance. And that means I could probably trade with you now, but I don't think you like me, do you? No, you don't. And you can't trade, oh. You win some, you lose some. What about trade? Anyone else want to trade? Athens actually likes me, so maybe they will trade. I want to trade welcome, welcome. with you. It's low. Oh, come off it, man. Jesus. Oh, Rome. I was going to check out. Didn't check Rome out. No, 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 no. Where you gone? Rome's actually fairly neutral, so let's see if we can get something with you. you non dressing Oh, okay. Oh, you bastards. Ah. Right, let's do this, this shit all over again. I chase you, you were raiding. I attack you with an attack order. And surprise, surprise, you run away like a coward. And I can't do fuck all. I'm better off just camping by you. But the only thing is, they're gonna go to this port instead now in Paler. Don't know why. Actually, what was that then? Oh, I can't raid Paler. I'm not going to yet because I need to sort my shit out here. I can sort. I can't do anything here, oh my god. At least our public order is fine, but if I take this army out now... Oh, I can take them out because only two. Okay, we're going to be taking this army out then. And we're going to march to Pela with these guys. Uh, my ship is okay to go here, this section here. So basically, the plan is to take this army to Pela, build up a strong force, and then go for probably Epidamnos or Naviso. Probably Epidamnos because Epirus is quite weak by the looks of it, but there. And... This ship is going to do my head in constantly until it eventually folds. So what we will be doing is attacking them with this army. Probably camp by here so they can't get through and then just chase them down the sea to here. And eventually they will be eliminated. But I'm going to end this episode here. <laughs> this very weird episode. I've been Dragonheart. I hope you've enjoyed. Until next time. Goodbye.